People are gonna get confused. Okay. If you are just coming in today, and you're a little bit late, I've gotten the unique opportunity from Team 4 <coughs> and Overwatch uh, team to balance or suggest balances uh, for tanks. And, I, I, and there's, there's no context to that. They can be goofy. They can be damage numbers. They can be things like Sigma should be allowed to fly or Diva Remek damage. Stuff like that. Um, it could be anything. As long as it pertains to tanks. Both if you think of it in Overwatch 1 or 2. Now everything I'm saying is also being used to throw you off. Because I'm not trying to give anything away. So, there's truth in everything I say, but also a little bit of deception. Because otherwise, if I just outright tell you everything, you'll be able to piece together the, the, the puzzle pieces. So what I'm trying to get out of you is your ideas and try to get out of you your uh, suggestions, whether it's something that you wish you could see in the game, whether it's stuff that... Can we create abilities? Um, there's definitely a limit. There's definitely a limit. Um, because that stuff has to be like animated and shit, you know? But, quote-unquote, abilities... Well, I guess Diva's remake always did a little bit of damage, but it was so little it wasn't really thought of as a new ability. Um, so, I will allow the suggestions, but it's not my call. It's not my call. So, like I said, all of this is more suggestions, but they're obviously, you know... Okay, chat. This isn't a sellout, but there's a lot of shit happening. So, I can't totally read everything at once. If you really, really want something, TTS it. Um, and it doesn't mean it's going to go away, obviously. It's just like, to hear it better. Ryan Chatter does some... Okay, you know what? Keep it... Okay. I'm willing to start... I'm willing to jump around a little bit. But like... We'll try to, like, keep the jumping a little bit. Like, let's try to focus on these ones first, and then we can do these ones after. So. Hello? Thank you. Oh, that was so tough. Um. No Berserker State to get temp shields. Hook on cooldown is half. And no reset the cooldown... At least 15 seconds. That would probably have to make an animation for it, so that's a little bit tough. But I, I actually kind of like the idea. Six, I will knock, Thanks. I will knock Remove that self heal to 100. Don't you fucking test me today. Sort of reverse knock back. Reverse, remove the hard stun on hook and change it to be sort of reverse knock back. Um, I think that changes way too much of the fundamental of the hero. The hero. The hero has the hook is to pull people in. Um, I don't disagree that I don't think it's like a terrible idea, but it, then it just becomes whip shot instead of hook. Um, you kind of lose what what the hero is. Plus, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the one thing that the hog players want. I'll keep your one thing, but you can't have everything. You're tankier than the main tanks. You one shot better than anybody else, and your chill break damage is absolutely insane. I say you something thoughts. You didn't send me anything. Actually, the last message I have is you dono walling me. What Arissa? What if I doesn't? Well, I don't trust me. I'm going to fucking throw Arissa into the depths of hell. Arissa's going. Arissa's gone. It will send soon. How big is it? These when hog kills someone with hooks, you buff your team with a damage reduction. Uh, buffs your team with a damage reduction. 
It's an interesting idea, but I'm not sure how to word that. Hold on to that one for me. is this that's kind of rude i don't want to have to do that but you have to keep some order to this pretty fried fish appreciate the five gifted subbies jack can we show some love for fried fish yeah Emong, i don't know what the fuck's up your tree with this fucking gingerbread snapped mountain dew but yeah i'm all good dude thanks uh I'm, keep those suggestions <clears throat> well okay let's just let's just fucking do it okay let's just do Nerf what? hog breather damage reduction to 25% down from 50%. No one should be able to stand on a var bomb and live. Together, we are strong. <sighs> Shatter does Brave, I have it at 30 and you want 25? Oh, you evil bastard. I'm okay with it, though. So it breaks the small shield before going through. This also will break Zarya bubbles, but won't knock person in the bubble down, just people behind them. Shatter does some damage. HP with some bubble. So you want Shatter to do 700 damage? I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I am all for doing crazy Rhine buffs, but that's out of my... Now that's too far for me. I'm going to be honest with you. That's too far for me. Only on shields? Yeah, but... That loses the art of blocking Shatters. The art of the duel between Rhines is thrown out the window. It's gone. You don't want to lose that. I'll tell you what we'll do to Ryan. Shatter. Stun increase from 2.5 to 3 seconds. Number 1. Number 2. Thank you. Flipper reaches fortify and rains charge credit to a Dustin underscore black three thousand three hundred and eighty five. What do you guys think about that? <clears throat> Thank you. Instead of counter pin, both reins bounce off and go in random directions. No charge cancel in that interaction. <laughs> I got the Stop. limited edition um, mood pin. You know what? Both reins bounce off. <laughs> you know, I'm going to put crazy ideas in like, um, in brackets. Both Rhines don't counter charge. They instead bounce in random di directions. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know. Fuck it. I'll, I'll have it in under there. Whatever. Cool. Fuck it. Just PR chaos. Bumper cars, dude. Um... Give Ryan's charge immune to CC, but having the ability to turn 90 degrees to the right whenever a CC ability is used on him while charging. Thank you. Three ideas. Give us a Rain's charge call at the stampede, and give Rain Arissa's fortify. I think that'll make life more interesting. To get rid of mine cast time, literally nobody cancels that on purpose. Three, please stop the ball reload cancel when switching. Please stop the ball reload cancel when switching.
That one's tough, though, because then you could just never stop shooting. You just go and ball and then pop back out and you have ammo, right? Mikey! Thanks for the two gifted subs, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, shine shield recharge increase by 1.5. Thank you. Reduce I'll put that under here. Jump pack cool down by 10% for every enemy he lands on. Um, sorry. Give Ball a second life like Baby D. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Break slash kills any shields it hits with double sh- No, 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 no. You can't rem you can't- I think Shutter is a is a shield breaking tool. It's like interesting, but I'll always write it down. It's going in brackets though. Shield Shatter does massive damage to break shields. But not only Okay. Um Fire strike projectile speed increase? I've thought about that. I'm not going to lie. Let, let's go to some other ones. We'll circle back to Ryan again. Um, well, I know I know a lot of you guys want Ryan changes, so we'll, we'll circle back to it again. Daria, her primary beam also attracts players towards it gently. I'm on fire! Uh, a screw mic stuff. Thanks to the prime. Appreciate it. I'll put that one. I'll put that one in, and I'll put that. In, uh... oh. Brackets. Area left. Like slow. Okay. Bulls targets to beam. Okay. This has a passive wall. No, we're not doing wall. We're not doing the wall climb shit. Um. Move duration Together, on Zarya's self. We are strong. For the sake of mobility, make it so Zarya doesn't take self damage, but still does the boop, so she can do the jump tech without just reaming her health. Also, give Winston more bouncy bounce when she lands. Thank you. Someone needs to be a better fire and echo counter than just DVA. Maybe Orichu or Wrecking Ball should be have increased AMG to targets in air. Don't know if that's possible. Oh, we'll look into it. I like that. Reduce Zarya charge to 30 and give an extra bubble. That one. Vision marks. Okay, okay, this is getting ridiculous. Change charge dot from bubble to thirty, but with extra bubble question mark. I kind of like it. I kind of think that there should be something done with bubbles. This is mine. This is my take. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm getting fucking angry. I'm getting very angry. Or why is it this doing? Why is it doing this? Why is why, why why does every single time it resets to the same thing? Like, can you can you stop?
Thank you. Jesus. Uh, this is this is mine. All right, bubbles. Three hundred HP. Or two hundred HP to three hundred HP, which makes them stronger. To to break. Charge. Okay, so mine is a little bit more complex. So the way I thought of it was changing Zari bubbles from 200 HP to 300 HP so they don't just pop. But how to inversely affect her charge is the, the tough part. Thank you. Maybe make Winston not take damage for two seconds after activating Primal. I have, I have a different one for Winston. Don't worry, we'll get there. I'll just leave it at that. Um. Sorry, it's a tough one. Thank you. Well, you, you have to play with the numbers there, Kirito. Um, to make it equal. Or at least somewhat equal. You have it at the same damage per bubble 40, right? Should overall reduce it since it takes longer to break the bubble. Um... So here's the idea. Here's the idea. My original idea was to make bubbles 300 HP inversely affect the amount of charge. So like, you need to do 200 damage to bubble to get 40 charge. So you would have to do th 300 damage to get 40 charge. However, the way Zarya would lose charge would be much slower. So like, how much charge does Zarya lose right now? Like, over time? Like, how much is it a second or something like that? What I'm basically... Okay, so obviously there's fun stuff too, right? Like, I want to have some fun stuff. Like, some of your guys' ideas, like, I want the crazy ones too. But the idea is to also keep up with power creep. You know what I mean? That's why I think 300 HP is a little bit more... You know what I mean? Like, bubble used to be 200 HP and that made sense. Now, to put 200 HP bubble just disappears. So you cannot escape grab with any abilities. I think that only affects like things like Moira, realistically. Um. Bubble size. What do you want to do with bubble size? I missed your first one. I'll look for it. Make the bubble size a variable. What do you mean a variable? Like it can be any size. Maybe that much because lot bubble only lasts for two seconds. It's kind of hard to inflict more than 300 damage in one second. All right. Also, bubble lasts two seconds. It's one. Thank you. Give her an extra bubble she can throw on enemies to block their outgoing damage on a larger cooldown. Um. Thank you. Where would you put that, though? She already has a left click, a right click, an E, and a shift. She's already got all of her abilities covered. Then you, the first second, should have an energy spike when taking damage. That way you had a better time. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, that doesn't make sense. I'm telling you the first second should have an energy spike when taking damage. That way you have time to make it better to be more effective. That, there's no numbers in that, though. You're just saying make it spike. Like, that doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, making it spike doesn't really do anything. And that also isn't, like, what is only in the beginning, like... It has you have to have like some consistency. You can't just say make it spike early. Like it doesn't it doesn't really do anything. 
Crazy idea. Turrets can be mounted on targets with more than 400 HP. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a scary idea. I don't. I don't want damage and amplification. I think, personally, personally, I think damage amplification is the biggest problem in this game. I think it's by far the biggest problem. Mercy, uh, mods. Can we take a look at? Uh, I don't want to click on that. Uh, I don't think I want it to be there either. I mean, detonate diva bomb early. Bomb does damage to baby diva. Uh, Thank you. How about just raising Zarya's damage floor? Feels really useless without charge. Leave max damage alone. Oh, I'm absolutely I'm good with that too. I'm, I'm absolutely good with that. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that down here. Together crazy we are strong. ideas Zarya has three charges with now, all except tanks. they now stack if you spam self or at a target. They break in layers like an onion. Alternatively, if you add more bubbles to a target, Turks it just makes a larger bubble. Be added Would be really to great shield in a solo Zarya world. Four hundred HP. <sighs> so a stack. If you spam yourself here at a target, they break in layers like an onion. Alternatively, if you add more bubbles to a target. It just makes a larger bubble. Yeah, but the part the part that's tough about that is you're at that would have to be animated, I think. And the onion part. If you just made the bubbles bigger, that's probably something that can happen, but the onion part's the tough one. Yo, Mikey! Mikey with the 25 gifted subbies chat. Can we show some love for Mikey with the 25 gifties? He's so much, dude. Chat, if you gotta get to the sub, make sure you say thank you to Mikey for the extremely huge gift. The 25 gifted. That's better too, wasn't enough. I appreciate it anyway. Dude, it's 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 never it's not enough. I, I appreciate all the all the love, dude. Seriously. Thank you so much. If you gotta get to the sub chat, make sure you say thank you as well. Let's go one enemy. You know what? Actually, I just had an idea. Sorry, bubbles 200 or 300. Bubble size increase by 50 percent. This way, they're a much bigger target, and they'll end up getting hit more often. But also, raise floor. What is Zarya's minimum charge damage? What is Zarya's minimum charge damage as a number? Is it really that low? Or... How is it how is it determined? Is it per second? Together we are strong. Check out this gun. Interesting. Diva gets damage reduction when she uses boosters. I'm on fire! I gave more thought to my earlier idea. Make projected be able to go on to enemies blocking healing and outgoing damage. But bubble duration on enemies is have the normal time. I don't know if I like the idea of, of, of bubbles going on enemies, to be honest. Um... Not my, not my style. But... There's no, like... I'm on fire. No set outcome. I mean, there is, but like, not not yet. You know, it's like uh, basically trying to get ideas from Thank you. community. Myself. Percent damage reduction for a few seconds after popping. For actually, since the prime as well, appreciate it. Um, give Zarya bubbles twenty five percent on who? On Zarya or the person? Cause I feel like if they if they do all if you if you buffed the damage on them or how much they take, then getting damage resistance would be actually insane. Like I don't really here's the thing, I think that damage resistance and damage amplification are one of the worst things in Overwatch. I think that's the shit that breaks the game. Now I'm okay with having like little bits, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't mean damage reduction is like bubble bubble. That's an ability. Damage reduction is like 
hogs self heal. Um, you know, like 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 thing, things that like you can do to, to either bring it down or push it up. And I, I think those things are just feel terrible. Well, Risa Fortify, yeah, I think those things feel terrible. Um, I play against and as a player. Retain charge when revived. I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even know what's Mikey. going on. Mikey, you know, Mikey, thanks for the twenty-five gifted subs. Check. Can we show some love for Mikey? Can we show some love for Mikey with the twenty-five gifted subs? Appreciate. It. Anyways, thank you so much, dude. Much love. Appreciate it. Chat, still some love from Mikey and another 25 gifties. And if you got get to the sub chat, make sure you say thank you as well. Orange fortify change. Make it a static armor pool that is permanent, but does not start cool down until it's depleted. Thanks again, Mikey. Um, I, honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna nerf her so in the ground. So she's not getting any any good buffs. She's going straight to hell. Any idea of shields and Overwatch? I want to hear your opinion. She'll take too much damage from all sources. But only one fourth of that damage is burst damage. This is damage taken as damage over time over two seconds. Uh, nah, nah this, see, honestly, you're getting a little too complicated, in my opinion. Too complicated. Um, there's a reason why it's the absolute least played role. It's not fun for anybody. It's not fun for the tank players. It's not fun for people playing against the tank players. Fuck the tank balance in the first place. Uh, oh, I mean, Sigma's going right next to him. Sigma's going on the ground, too. But. You said I play tank 2, which means you, you play DPS and tank. No, absolutely not. You're just... Run along. Push along. Um... The reason I play tank, random person, I'm sorry. Flats, yep, true. Um... Yeah, keep 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 that mentality, and all of a sudden you have no your tank your cues are gonna be forty five minutes. Keep that going. Um, I've spent way too much time on Zarya. Zarya needs more looks at, but let's let's get to the one that I'm a little bit more excited to do myself. First off, let's fix that. That's actually not bad. Primal HP. 1,000. 1,500. In my mind. So, if I had to put, like, spark notes at the top, basically, and be like, guide for ide ideology of these changes. Since Overwatch release... When the game was made, there has been roughly a 50% increase in power creep. Roughly a 50% increase in power creep. So, damage coming in, damage being output, etc. What Primal was five years ago is not Primal nowadays. It's an extremely high skill, high value ult, or at least it used to be. Remember, at one point it was nicknamed Primal Blade. When really good Winston players, back in like 2017, 2018, um, like Gushui, could make Primal look like a Genji Blade. Because they knew all the cooldowns, they had good mechanical skill to do well with it. And there's not many main tank things that require mechanical skill. We're just gonna give it a straight HP buff, absolutely, right out of the gate. No, no, no chain, no nothing else. It, uh, right out of the gate, not even up for debate. It's just happening. Um. Thank you. Monkey in Primal get a right click where he slams the ground dealing 75 o damage and 100 damage on a point blank hit. Disagree. Disagree. Um we the 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 beauty of what Primal is 
is it's a highly mechanical skilled ult to give her secure kills. Massive amounts of damage like that is almost too high. But I won't disagree with you that healing typically heats, keeps people alive in that primal. Are the devs holding an announcement soon? Mm, I mean, this is... Ac okay. <sighs> I've had to explain it quite a few times, but I know. It's tough. I have to. What this is, is an opportunity that was given to me by Team 4 and the Overwatch team to present them with ideas both on balance cha on balance changes for the game. Now, that can be anything. It doesn't mean it's going to be implemented. It doesn't mean it's law. It's ideas. We don't know what will come of it. Okay? It can be anything. From balance numbers to... Uh, took wacky stuff like diva remake remember diva, diva remake done 400 damage in the april fools patch it can be anything it can be anything 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 period besides like things that require like new animations and stuff like that you know what i mean like i can't give like winston wall climb and shit like that have to be animated like that's not gonna happen so i'm not i'm done okay you can suggest it, but I'm not doing damage reduction or damage increases. I am heavily against them. Reduction, maybe if the hero already has it, but I'm going to tank. I'm turning it down, not turning it up. Give all tanks 5% damage reduction. <sighs> like a passive? Why the fuck would you buy Prime to 1500 HP? Because Primal explodes, it's a terrible ultimate. Aren't you the same guy that said, "Yeah, you're the you're the same guy. You're a moron. You don't you don't know what you're talking about." Actually, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, no offense, but like, you have you have you you don't you don't play main tanks in any way, and that's why your tank queues are 10 seconds, and that's why your DPS queues are 45 sec 45 minutes. Primal is not the same ultimate it was a year ago, or five years ago. Thousand HP is literally nothing. Hammond gets more. Ball literally rolls in and hits E and gets more HP. So, I'm confused. Did you do something with Tesla Cannon that has a small damage ramp up and then damaging for 2-3 to three Thanks. seconds? Last uh, one. Again. Var has immunity from calling in the mech to getting into the mech. If you didn't kill the demeched Var by then, that's on you. Is immunity from calling in the mech? No, no. I like I liked having that little, that little, that little timing, actually. Um, I actually kind of like that. Rumo's hook and cable should not be infinite. It should break slash disconnects on X number of circles or something. Interesting. I'm actually... We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that one. But, yeah, 1500 HP is me actually lowballing, to be honest with you. Um, I remember each time increased by 0.5 seconds every time he is damaged while in primal. No, absolutely not. There's another self-destruction... It has a cooldown that starts when demacked. So, like, kind of like an anti stagger tool. Interesting. I like that. Bone. Ohm. Diva. Calls for pickup. In baby diva, which she goes back to spawn after holding event stag. Putting that one in brackets because I have no idea if that's even fucking possible, but. I like the idea. I know getting staggered as diva is annoying as shit. I mean, let, okay, let's just let's just let's just start with this. Let's just start with this really quick.
Right, let's just let's just see. Forty percent. It's gonna, it's gonna start doing this, huh? Um, there was an old movement speed patch. Um, slow firing. Yeah, I'm okay with that for now. Um, headshot fortify. a 15 second countdown to promote more mobility and offensive plays understand 15 second cooldown what i don't know i maybe i missed much just understood that but um thank you orica shield increased to 800 but is no longer reset when redeploying there's a shield Increased to 800, but is no longer reset while redeploying. What does that mean by redeploying? Uh, no twoing. I, I, if every person asked me to scroll back to their thing, I'd be doing this all day. You, you got missed. Sorry. Thank you. At flats, she needs to recharge her shield like rain, essentially. I mean, you recharge her shield like rain? So how would you pick it back up to recharge it? Still giving her some headshot damage and reducing fortify is too much nerfing. Don't care. Um, hero can do everything at once. Hits him with three instead of two orbs of fire. Hey, but that would have to be that would have to be an animation change because he has both of them in his hand, so he'd be firing three. You know what I mean? Like that's an animation change. That's different. I got the limited edition, um, Mutu. Wait, how do you say it? Please scroll up just once at some point for newcomers. Maybe in like 15 minutes just once. Thank you. Oh, you mean this? Oh. I misunderstood you. These are the 3,000 bits, Wayne. I thought you meant what you said in chat. He has a floating ability so he can hover down but stay in the air to deal damage from above. Similar to how Mercy or Echo floats down after flying. Uh, floating ability can hover down but stay in the air. It's gonna be Guard. What is the what is the thing when Mercy flies down? It's not Guardian Angel. It's um. 
What's the thing when she floats? Okay. Sigma doesn't have a one shot. He's a one shot combo where you need to rock, left click, melee. Things need to have more health. I'm actually kind of in favor of that. I, I've thought about it. I'm going to put that down here. Overall increase to health pools. Ten 10%. These Overwatch 2 ideas are current Overwatch 1 ideas? I cannot tell you. What it is, and I'll say it again, I've said it a few times because I don't know how many, if there's more people like flooding in and stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been a while, so probably more people coming in. Team 4 and the Overwatch team have given me the opportunity to give them ideas for uh, Overwatch. Whether that's balance patch numbers with like, you know, nerf this damage and increase this damage, health changes, uh, to more crazy and radical ones. Like, uh, remember the the April Fool's patch? Like Sigma could fly and like Diva Remake did 400 damage, etc. I can suggest stuff like that. Thank you. Now, Ray loses Discord orb after four seconds with his shield up like he gets Discord, then puts shield up, and after four seconds, Discord drops off and has to be placed back on when shield is down. That's a, that's more of a Zen change. That's a Zen change. We're not affecting uh, supports, only tanks. Um, but to be fair, I would love to, I would love to do some stuff like that. Trust me. Share the safe shield pool where damaging a shield breaks the other shields regardless. Wait. Have all main tanks share the safe shield pool where damaging a shield breaks the other shield? No. I'm sorry, Gray. That that makes no fucking sense because you're talking about main tanks and Sigma's not a main tank. Sigma's an off tank. And and that so that just that doesn't make sense. And like how is your shield getting affected by the other guy's shield? That doesn't that's just really, really shitty feeling game design. Sorry. That's not going to happen. I, I would not let that... Imagine you had, don't have a shield the entire game because the other guy's throwing his into the enemy team and just dying. You, like, you know what I mean? Like That makes no sense. Am I going to do this? No, I'm not going to do this. Um... Our... Mm -hmm. Question mark. 25% more control. Charge. Okay. Listening to the masses just absolutely just doesn't Thank fucking work. You ironically take away our reach shield and make our reach a bit more speedy like the April Fool's patch. I had so much fun zooming in the back line as our reach. Alternative change. Move, build, fire. This is okay. This is gonna tilt me. Fifty percent. No. No. Speed drop and shooting.
Thank you. Wrecking Ball, mines do knock back damage upwards. So enemies fly up allowing them time to move away from other mines but also gives team a chance to deal damage to popped up enemies. Sorry if that was confusing lol. Knock back damage upwards. Mines do... Don't know if it's possible. <sighs> I'm, I'm only skipping around based on ideas. Thank you. Since gets crush damage with her mech, Rain should get to do crush damage to people in the epicenter of his slam. Maybe not as much as mech crush, just an idea. Thank you. What if you could use Orich's halt to pull yourself to high ground? I just don't like the idea of pulling yourself. I don't know what it is. I just don't think it's... he. The idea behind the secondary Orisa is like... Kind of like Hog, or just a flank tank. It's literally the flanking Orisa. Removing shield entirely. No speed drop while shooting, so you're shooting and walking at the same time. Fortify, obviously less damage, but it'll last a little bit longer. But you can still be headshot and less damage. Or less health. You know what I mean? It's literally just like the, the zoom zoom tank. Let Ryan's fire strike and balls... Fireball set people on fire like all right, you know what? I was gonna do this later, but I'm just gonna do it now. Fire strike. Two charges. Damage to eighty. But get two. On CD. Also, thank you. Crazy one for my last suggestion. When two rains charge into each other, they cause a large explosion similar to Dvar Bomb, but both rains die. I'm gonna put this. I'm not. This one actually isn't that serious, but I'm gonna put these in, in brackets just so you guys know that they're like more crazy ideas. But like I said, everything's on the table. <sighs> Thank you. I thought he already had two fire strikes in Overwatch too. Again, you haven't listened to a word that's come out of my mouth. <sighs> Weaker, no DPS. You have no way to counter an opposing DPS unless you go hog. Uh, it depends on what DPS you're talking about. Something like Echo? Yeah, I agree with that. You need to make Hanzo a skill shot sniper again. Not a mid-range spam hero. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I have no control over that. Um, hog hater? Yeah, fuck hog. I want to say I might put him even deeper in the ground if, uh, if I get tempted. Yeah, I don't, I don't, we're not talking Overwatch 2. I am, I, that's, again, we're getting off track here. We're getting off track here. Okay. Diva? I think this has happened more times than I can count. But I feel like D.Va, specifically, whenever I get D.Va Matrix, like it never ends up working. What's it right now? Is it 10 meters or 12 meters? It does. Uh, max range 10 meters up to 2 seconds. Uh, I want to increase the radius. The outwards radius of it. 
And I want to change the range to... Thank you. Remove oh, travel point. time awesome. along ground for shatter. Fire strike on two charges with down to 60 to 70 damage, but can do somewhere between 20 to 30 burn damage over three to five seconds. I, I, I think you suggested it before. I, I'm not a big fan of the burn changes. I don't know. I don't think. I think getting hit by dynamite is one of the most annoying things in the game. I want it to both be fun for the player and fun for the person who uh, is getting killed by it. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, nobody wants to die. But at the same time, though, like, if you get. You lose a duel to a soldier on the flank, you're like, ah, fuck. You know what I mean? You're not like, oh, that's so cheap. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Thank you. energy field me doing knockback uh I, that sounds like a whole new ability and, and that's something that's a little tough do damage from booster increases the further she boosts hmm what's her flight speed Movement bus one hundred and eighteen percent. Let's make it one hundred and thirty. No, let's make it one hundred and fifty. Boosters. Off. So she flies faster. Oh, uh, again, not all of it's going to be like serious. Like, of course, we have some serious changes in here, but we also can have some silly shit, too. There, the hook reset seems scary, though, like real scary. Well, I mean, what it does is it lets players that are skilled with hog and hits the cool, like hits it. You know what? Let's 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 take this in that level. Hook CD increase. So if you are hitting hooks, you can get a lot of value. If you're not hitting any hooks, you're useless. All or nothing. Send jump. We'll go from 1 to 50, so if you land on their head, you'll actually do 75 instead of 50. 40 per swing. No, prime would too much. Prime fifty would be too much. Fifty would be way too much damage. Thank mm. you. Far missiles do a small two to three meter range of damage at fifty percent of what a direct shot is. Two to three meter range AOE damage at fifty percent of what a direct shot is. Remind me. I'll look at that one again in a second. Primal. Thank you. The more people in Winston's Tesla cannon fire, the slower your ammunition drops.
Interesting. Brackets. Or Thank you. Sudden change on the jump. Oh, <clears throat> don't forget, chat. This is not all serious. Some of it's a little bit goofy, but the idea is to like have some fun with it. There's real changes. There's real changes, and there's goofy changes. Remember that. That would be interchangeable with other changes, but like it's still good. like this isn't all the changes. Like if I was gonna put this change in, I'd remove uh this one. I'd remove that. Um, five hundred percent less. Yes, it actually just reflects it. Third ball doesn't make sense. Uh, again, it had to be animated. He has two balls in his hand. If he had a third one magically, like how would that work with the, uh, the animation? <sighs> Ryan Hammer impact point on Shatter does 300 damage like Diva Mech. Does massive damage. Hundred question mark? You can do it, go all the way. Ryan Shield recharges on swings, was will recharge on Tesla. No, no. <clears throat> Cause those ones a little bit more complicated. That's a little bit too tough, honestly. The anchor point of grapple can be destroyed. Destroy pit spin to win. Hmm. Interesting. Damage from shatter could it decrease the further it goes. I, I don't really, I don't really want to do damage with it. The impact point is is a cool one, but other than that, nah. Hmm. I need wrecking ball changes. More sigma changes would be nice too. Ball removed from the game, yeah. 
decrease, decrease grapple range. Double the size of his character model. God damn it, dude. Hmm. Increase self boop on Sigma left click so you can get access to high grounds easier. Hmm. Ryan does not need damage for swing. Absolutely not. The hamster part is 300% bigger. You know what? I'm cool with that. Thank you. Sigma change. Increase rate of fire of orbs instead of trying to add another. Decrease damage slightly. Helps him be spammy, but not broken. Thank you. What if each tank had a unique passive to reinforce that tank's kit? DPS and heals don't get a passive, helping tanks differentiate from the rest of the crowd, and doesn't have to be animated necessarily. What would be the unique passive you talk about then? Thank you. Sigma shield gets a health fall off range. The farther it is from him, the lower max HP it is. Would you bring the fall off that? Thank you. You start to fall off at fifteen meters? Do y'all know what 15 meters is in Overwatch? Control link established. You're telling me you want to start it up there? What's the point? I think that one might be honestly a little too tough. I like the like, I like the concept. He's got to be close to it, but at the same time, I think six spheres shouldn't do full damage after bouncing. I think that's dumb. That's like part of the, like what makes the hero the hero. Like if he bounces it and it hits someone full direct, you should do full damage. The splash, absolutely not, but it doesn't do that already. Thank you. Yes, this is getting shared with them. Thank you. Genius idea every time Sigma rocks, he spams the yes voice line, which is the closest we'll get to a yep rock in game kek.
Yep. Rock. Sigma grass slows him down. Plus he takes increased dam melee damage since he's off guard. <clears throat> um I want to give him the Arista treatment. The Arista treatment is is the fifty percent. Arista used to be fifty percent. I'm giving this. I'm giving the Arista treatment. Thank you. Drop HP of Sig's shield by 100 and let his grasp pull all projectile damage 360 degrees. Still vulnerable to melee. Hmm. Then he just be he's just a better diva at that point. Once it does more damage to deployables. 100%. So that would count to deployable shields. Interesting. Kind of like that one. Again, these aren't are on all going to go. Like some of them I'm going to like trim around and stuff like that, but uh For example, hog I kind of want to Relook at. I kind of like the base that we got going, but this isn't one of the most constantly met in OP heroes since release. I don't know why. And you know what's funny? When Diva stopped being OP, that's when the game fell apart. Did you notice? Sigma came out, Diva got nerfed, and all of a sudden the game was fucking dog shit. Diva being very fucking strong is one of the keys to keeping this game good. It's the same thing with Tracer. When Tracer is strong, the game feels good for DPS players. When Diva is strong, the game feels good for tank players. Absolutely the truth. I do not care. I will buffer, and I do not give a fuck. Because Orisa and Sigma have literally put this game in the fucking ground. So yeah, you can sit there and go, Diva's meta. Diva's better in pro play. Thank she's strong. Diva yes, of course she's strong, but she's not the, the strongest. And there's many other ways. And your Diva has to be top tier to outperform a fucking average Sigma. An average Sigma will outperform a average Diva 90% of the time in today's meta. So yes, we are debuffing it. We are going to say fuck it. Let's give it more. Because ever since then, the game has sucked. So you're damn right I put that in there. You're damn right. What are the diva changes since we're on the subject? Uh, there you go. Again, not everything, especially things like in 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 uh, like in parentheses is more meme changes, but like just funny. Like parentheses is more of like. Or brackets is more like, you know, 